Your attention, please, due to unforeseen circumstances. This is a rather unexpected turn of events. I just got this notification. I've never seen anything like this. to do that, Lilia. <laughs> you don't, you just do it anyway. I was literally hanging on to your backpack. It's our first adventure, alone in, a, in another country, trying to get our baggage. <laughs> a lot of things are in English. But we're still gonna follow the crowd. We just kept walking. The directions were kind of confusing. It said 2E and then it would say 2F and then it would say 2E, but we made it to Terminal 2F, which is where the magical shuttle picks you up and brings you to your hotel. We are staying on Disney property this entire trip, but that's not all we're doing. We're gonna go sightseeing as well. We are just staying, we're only staying for five days, four days actually now, because now it's Tuesday. We leave Saturday. We left yesterday, it is now tomorrow, but we're staying at the same hotel the whole time and we're just gonna go back and forth to the city, which is hopefully not too far. When I mapped it out, it was like 40 minutes, so should be good. <laughs> we're gonna find out, I don't know, we're winging it. Day one, Disney Paris, here we go. I love the doors. Yes, that is really so cool. <laughs> room. Okay. 7211, and we'll need your magic pass yes. to open the door. Have a magical stay. Have fun. My name is Louis. If you need anything, feel free to ask. Okay? Perfect. Thank you. Have a good day. <gasps> we made it. We made it. We made it. Yeah. We traveled across the whole ocean and we made it. We made it, we made it, yeah. We had no sleep on a plane, but hey, we made it, we made it, we made it. Hey, actually, we had like three hours of sleep. Did you, I don't know about good sleep, but we had sleep nonetheless, and we are here, we made it. We are staying at Disney's Hotel New York. I would have liked to stay at the Disneyland Hotel here, but it is currently under refurbishment until 2024, so this was the next best option. People are so nice here. <laughs> the guy that showed us to our room, he was saying that this is the only Marvel-themed hotel in the entire world, so that's pretty epic. Let's get a little room tour. We got some pictures on the walls. We got beds, we got beds, more beds, and a bathroom. Fancy. Okay, I'll show it after. We've got this, is it a TV? It's like a mirror, but then where's the TV at? Oh, it's a TV, it's a TV, I knew it. Welcome family, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Ah, this is so exciting. Bathroom, connecting door that we're not using. Um, do not disturb, sign. Oh, oh my gosh, there's a little robe. Another mirror, hi, that's me. We've got a shower here, ooh, hi. A toilet, a fancy toilet. Oh, do they have, what's it called, bidets here? Mm, maybe not. Another mirror. Hi. This time it's not a TV. And so now we are, what are we doing? What are we doing? Are we taking a nap? Are we getting food? We're connecting to internet. Um, we're gonna figure out what we're doing. <laughs> we made up our minds. Look at us, look at us, look at us. We were in America. 
12 hours ago and now with us. We are getting ready to walk into Disneyland Paris. Let's do fit check. Lilia put this together and she's honestly the cutest thing I've ever freaking seen. She starts putting these pieces together. Okay, this is always how it goes. She starts putting pieces together and I'm like, I don't know Lilia, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know how it's gonna come together. And then she does this and I'm just like, are you kidding? Holy moly. Okay, my turn. You gonna show for me? So, to kind of match like Lilia's vibe, I'm going with same blue. I got my blue fanny. I got my blue bow. Lilia picked that so, up. Oh my god. Oh my god. She's like, oh my god. Oh, oh. We're adorable together and we are extremely jet lagged and not letting that stop us from going to Disneyland Paris, which is right there. We think we can walk there. We're pretty sure. Let's take it. We go through, we go through Disney Village. Oh, you know how to do it already? How do you know all this stuff? Gosh, I swear Lillian knows everything about every Disney park. Bad luck, bad day. What should I do? Look at that McDonald's! This is Paris' version of Downtown Disney. She's beautiful. I don't really know how to get in. Is it on my app? No, I think you use our cards. You're in! I'm just waiting for like, your reaction. I'm gonna cry. Oh my god. Whoa, this is the entrance. It's the 30th anniversary this year of Disneyland Paris. It's in French. No way, is it? Uh, oh my god, it's huge! It really just depends. We can actually go in this one and do the Sleeping Beauty story. Oh this like, might be my favorite one, honestly. Like, worse than ours. Oh, you think our story's better? It sounds just like our Main Street. Oh my god, she's so beautiful. Honestly, first thing we do, I say, is go through the castle. And then go under the castle. I like that. We're gonna go through the castle and go under the castle. Check! Small looks colorful. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. They don't have as many trees here. It's probably better for fireworks. Look at the square um, trees. <laughs> Gives off the cartoon vibe. This is freaking gorgeous. Look over there. Yeah. Fun fact. Go away green. They use that shade of color to make you ignore it. Their bees look different here. Oh my god, they're prettier. Bees are prettier in pairs too, but do they? They're bigger. Ooh. We're Obviously, Lilia and I are like Disney fanatics. We go to Disneyland all the time. We've been in Disney World, we've been on Disney cruises, so naturally we can't help but point out differences that we do or don't know of this park versus the other ones back home. And one thing that we do know is that this castle is the same technically castle as Disneyland. It's the Sleeping Beauty castle, but just by looking at it, it is significantly bigger. Also, this castle, unlike the other two, you can go up into it up at the top but on the outside you can go up inside the Disneyland castle but it's only inside this one you can walk around it and you can actually go underneath it where you can actually find a dragon okay do we there. want to see the story first or do we want to see the dragon oh first? my gosh i don't know i kind of want to see the dragon oh my god I, don't, I want is, to see this whole... is where we split paths okay yeah we have to pick a side we go through the center or we go through the side this i don't know this honestly might be my favorite castle i feel like i've heard so much about this dang dragon like i need to see the dragon you want to go see the dragon let's see the dragon i can't believe we're here Close right now. Oh my god, is it? <gasps> no, it's close. Why? Why is it close? It probably open sometime. Okay, well, I guess that makes our decision easier. Okay. Just look over the ledge, and there's people underneath us. It's just open, it's so crazy. Well, if that wasn't perfect timing, walking right out of the castle to a parade. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry, I already know it. Melting 
away. Not only are we jet lagged, we're extremely hungry, so we're slowly melting away. But that was still magical, huh? Even if it doesn't look like it on our faces. We're gonna enjoy that parade more later. We just happened to walk out of the castle and it was going by. But another difference that, I, that we noticed is that the parade just goes around this main street and goes right back. It doesn't go anywhere else. And like the other parades, they like go all up and they like Disneyland, they go over to Small World and vice versa. This literally just goes up and down Main Street. So that was cool. We caught the end of that, but we need to eat. Like we are physically melting. Like we can, we're barely holding it together right now. We need to at least eat if we can't sleep. Oh, it's Ursula. Oh my gosh, cool. Oh. It's still so magical even if we're like slowly dying, but we need we need a little bit of energy. How's it? Well that's just the top of chocolate. So I'm gonna get like a chocolate cake. Good. Good. I like that. Update. We have found food and we are very happy about it. <laughs> I think we're leery. <laughs> she just laid her head on the bar and she goes. She goes, food's good. <laughs> you crying? <laughs> I kind of regret not like taking a nap before we came in the park. We should have taken a nap. Are we champing it to the show tonight? Yes. Yeah, but the show is at 11 p.m. It's currently, I haven't, haven't even updated what time it is. It's currently five o'clock and we got here at around 3.45 we got into the park. We got to our hotel around two. We landed at 10.45. I'll go backwards from there. It's currently like 6 a.m. California time, I think, right? Is that what we did at 7 a.m. now, California time? It's so weird that like <laughs> a whole other world just exists. <laughs> Is it eight now? I don't know. My brain can hardly be awake right now, let alone math, but we're gonna finish this and see what we can get done. Wait, wait, wait. Huh? Eight o'clock? It's eight o'clock. Okay, maybe we should just watch shows today. Try to watch all the shows. And we can just like chill. Although I don't think I can do rides today. Uh, yeah, same. All the way I might fall asleep during the show. <laughs> okay, we got this. There's a Lion King show, there's parades, and then we can watch the um, end thing. The thingy thing. The thingy thing in the sky. What are they supposed to for? I'm not sure. We should look into it. Your attention, please. Due to unforeseen circumstances, the parade has been canceled. We apologize for the Protesters canceled the parade. Oh, this guy's mad. This guy's mad. What is the show must do play? Look at me. Take that sweet guy for you. Lily and I decided we were gonna go try to catch the parade and they announced that it's been canceled due to unforeseen circumstances. We noticed that there's protesters here. We don't know what it's about, but they're all over the park today, so we're guessing that's the reason why because I think they're blocking the path. So, that's interesting. That is okay though. We're dying to go on Small World. We wanna see if it's in French the whole time, which it probably is, but I don't know. We're just really intrigued by the thought, so we're gonna go in. This is gonna be our first official ride. This is a tradition of ours to start off trips with Small World, so I feel like that we were led in the right direction here. As long as we don't fall asleep on the ride. No promises. No promises. It starts in French. La mano en la barca, por favor. Oh, they're hippo words. No fair. Our hippo is, it doesn't look good. Okay, this is new. Oh, this is so cool. Oh my God, it's, so it's a California version. Oh my God, it's cool. <laughs> it makes I'm dead, that is great. That was worth it, that was worth it. What's your opinion on it? That's, I'm dead. I didn't know that. That was in here. That is different. I just got this notification. Due to a planned strike, certain shows, activities, and services such as Disney's Premier Access or guaranteed access to our shows are disrupted or even canceled today. June 6th. Information on show times will be updated in real time. 
on our official Disneyland Paris mobile app. We apologize for the inconvenience and thank you for understanding. We wish you a magical so, day. Is it just because it's a protest? It, yeah, just, they said it's a planned strike. Oh, this is a rather unexpected <laughs> turn of events for us. You know what? It's a good day because we're exhausted. So we're just exploring, which this park is. I'm confused. That looks like. I think it is. Oh, I love that you know what I'm talking about. I think it's that right there. Uh, okay, let's go do it. It's actually so fine. Everything is like. Working Although, out. isn't it closed? I've never seen anything like this. Like. Especially in a Disney park. It's crazy. Witnessing history. So we're just finding gadgets and gizmos of plenty. Who's it and what's it's galore? There's so many like passageways. So that's what we're doing. Instead of the shows. Hopefully they'll be on tomorrow though. <laughs> oh, it's up. We're in the roots of the tree house. Okay, it's still magical AF here. Even during a strike. No, I think I just popped the blister on my foot. <gasps> it's painful. Oh, ow. Adventure is out there. Oh, wait, it is at You didn't love it yet. Oh. Is it talking? It's speaking French. Sorry, Jeannie, we don't know how to help you. <laughs> This is cool. Look at Kevin. Kevin! It is Kevin. <laughs> his, his beak. Two more differences that I've noticed from this park versus the other ones. This park, there is smoking allowed in the park. I don't know if it's allowed or not, but everyone is, everybody's doing it. <laughs> I think that's like more of just like a France thing. It looks like there's designated areas. Oh, there is. Yeah, there's designated areas, but I see people doing it kind of all around. They're probably not supposed to, but in the parks in America, you are absolutely not allowed to smoke. I don't even think there's designated areas anymore, not, right? No. Yeah. Also, Haunted Mansion is at every single Disney park in the world, but this one is, is a little bit different. It's actually called Phantom Manor. I'm going on it right now, so I'll let you know what the differences are. It's supposed to be kind of the same, although I've heard it's a little bit scarier, so we'll be the judge of that. I have more to show you. It's in English. Verdict? I guess I see why people say that it's scarier, but I don't know. I don't think it was like that scary. It didn't have like as much of a fun vibe to it as the one in the States, but it was alright. I like the one in the States better, personally. Is that the one? It's Disneyland Paris' 30th anniversary this year, and I just realized that the symbol is a 30, but it's also a Mickey head. How cute! Oh my gosh, I love. All right, you guys, I can't believe we're saying this. Okay. I can. We are not gonna make it tonight. We were trying to make it to the fireworks. That was like the one thing we were trying to make it to. We we're gonna try to champ it out, but our lack of sleep and our jet lag, the show is three hours from now, and we just cannot possibly sit here for three hours. So we're just gonna cross it off the list and try to do it tomorrow. We've been trying, to, she's got her caffeine. We've been trying hard. Like we've been, trying, she's got her Coke fix. We tried eating something sugary. Like we just cannot stay awake any longer. We've been awake for, oh my gosh. Um, Oh wait, more than 24 hours. We got like three, maybe like hour. three hours. Yeah, and when I say three, I mean, I mean, I don't even mean sleep. I just mean like we shut our eyes for three hours because the entire time I was like consciously hearing stuff. So like we rested for three hours on that plane. And it's like 11 a.m. in California, which means that we have been up for basically like 28 hours straight. <laughs> Okay, now I don't feel so bad missing out on this tonight. We really did try. We got some stuff done, but it's just no point. We're just like sitting here. We did imagine, good. We did good. Imagine being in that hotel. I know. I would like fall asleep so fast. We are gonna get food though before we go back because we need to eat something. We did it. Day one. Disney Paris. 
<laughs> tomorrow will be a better day. <laughs> we really tried. Plus, I can't help but keep this in the back of my head, but if there's any chance that the fireworks and like the show is gonna be canceled tonight, like we would actually pass away. <laughs> like literally, like that's like the whole reason we're staying up and they've canceled all of the other shows that we've seen so far today. So if there's even a slight chance of it being canceled, I just, I don't even, we're just gonna call it quits and get up super early tomorrow and take advantage of the magic morning tomorrow. We're actually gonna do rides tomorrow. Yeah, we're gonna do everything tomorrow. We're ready, everything. we're gonna be so ready. Okay, let's go get some food and let's go shut our eyes for 100 hours. Actually, no, like 12. <laughs> It's 1020 and the sun is still out. No wonder they do fireworks so late here. I get it now. At first I was so confused why they do fireworks at 11 p.m. because in Disneyland they do them at 9.30. I get it now. The drone show is in 20 minutes and then the fireworks are right after. So if I'm still awake, which I might be because I'm probably gonna be working knowing me, we can see the castle outside of our window. So I'm gonna see if I can at least like catch a glimpse of it. But that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. I literally can't wait for tomorrow. It's going to be an official full day of Disneyland Paris, and then the next day we're gonna hit the city and see what we can find out there. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day, and we'll see you.